Ever drive by a house and wonder what it looks like on the inside? Or look at a web page and wonder what HTML elements it uses? Well, with web pages, we actually can peek inside. Let's give it a try. We can use the browser's developer tools to view the code for any web page. Bring up the browser that was showing our web page. If you've closed it, navigate to the document where you saved your HTML. Double click and it should automatically open in your default browser. If you are using Chrome, right click on the page and select View Page Source, or press the Control key and U. It opens another tab and we see our HTML code. If you are using Safari, you have to first turn on the developer tools. After you've opened the page in the browser, click on Safari and select Preferences. In the top bar, click Advanced. Then check Show Develop Menu in the menu bar. Close the window, and you should now see a Safari Develop Menu option. Select that option and pick Show Page Source. The source will appear in the Developer Tools at the bottom. When we are done looking at the code, click to close the tab. Or on Safari, click the X to close the Developer Tools. But wait! There's more! We can view the page source for any website. Open another tab in your browser. In the address bar, navigate to www.npr.org, which is a news site. Right-click at the top of the page and select View Page Source. And I'll up the font. Look at this! Their developers know that only other developers would look at the page source, so they added a We're Hiring notice. Here's a tip. Use View Page Source on any web page to see examples, and you may even find some job opportunities. This is also a good example of the HTML comment markers. See the code comments here? And of course this one. And there's another one here. We start a comment with the left angle bracket, a bang or exclamation point, and two dashes. We end a comment with two dashes and a right angle bracket. Feel free to add comments anytime you want to provide a note to other developers, or yourself, about your code or logic. Let's skim through this source. Look at all of the HTML elements and their attributes. Scrolling down a bit, we see what looks like a menu and submenu items. Here it defines a news menu with national, world, politics, etc. as submenus. Going back to the site, we see the news menu with national, world, politics, and so on. Viewing the source again, the HTML defines each visual element on the page. While much of this may look like gobbledygook now, after you've finished this series of courses, much of the content here will be at least somewhat recognizable. Try View Page Source on any web page. For now, let's close these tabs and go back to the slides. So, right click on any web page and select View Page Source to view the HTML for the page. The browser provides many web developer tools, and we'll look at more of them as we proceed through this course. Next, let's check out a code editor.